Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for um, the month of March 2018. And I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here, thank you for being back. This is the general reading. Um, it's going to be a fabulous month for you guys. Um, it's going to really, really, really be a really wonderful month for you guys. It is the month of uh, um, the energy of the Angman in reverse. Um, it's as if a lot of people are going to find their inner light, their true light, who they are, and um, it's going to be wonderful. And what is happening is that this is going to be a, a very um, emotional month for a lot of people because sometimes when we confront our um, inner demons and when we realize and see the true light of who we are, um, this is like a kind of difference that come up for us. So um, it's going to be a month of uh, you seeing yourself uh, for who you are, especially for the um, Pisces and uh, um, Aries people, because the Pisces, you know, um, begin the month and the Aries end the month. It's going to be a really um, emotional time. It's going to be a time of working your emotionals and, you know, dealing with things that um, past memories, past emotions, and that sort of um, things. Um, don't worry about my eyes. I'm just having just really a migraine. So um, I'm drinking a lot of water, so my eyes will look very watery. Um, uh, um, this month is going to be, it's one of the lucky months, because I can remember it's one of the lucky months. What is so good about this month of March is that it has five weeks. This is the first month in the um in the year that that has five weeks because we have like three months in this year that has five weeks which which is very good the energy of this um month is going to make a lot of people realize um and release emotional um pain that you have been carrying so a lot of people who has been carrying a lot of emotional pain this is going to really release you of this emotional pain and it's going to be a very wonderful because i'm i'm seeing this being and working out so wonderful and it looks as if i don't have on anything but i do <laughs> so um it's, it's like kind of weird um so um with um with this emotion and so or whoever out there i do have on something so it's one of my favorite dress and i kind of like it because it's black and white with red and i kind of like that color so anyway um march i'm seeing a lot of exciting things coming up especially um um the, you know the first week of march is just going to be a week that is just going to it's another water energy week which is the week of judgment so a lot of things is going to come out in march march is going to be a month where <clears throat> things are happening you know a lot of information is coming at you and these information are going to be coming at you very strongly i love this deck this is like one of my favorite decks it is the wheel of the world tower card and this is like one of my favorite decks because whoever did this card is just so good just as you see the ray of light and the ray of information this is a uh, um it's as if the portals are going to be opening in March and especially in, in, in the first week it's just going to be like a ray of information like a lot of things are going to be coming out a lot of secrets a lot of things that um, people weren't aware of is just going to be coming out it's just going to affect uh, a lot of people so it is not only going to affect the Pisces the cancer and the scorpion but it's going to affect a lot of people because a lot of information will be coming out a lot of things will be just you know breakthroughs of things that is coming out and this is going to be good because um a lot of information that was kept from you is automatically going to come out so that is your first week okay i love the second week so for you pisces who are having birthday in the second week it's going to be grand it's going to be fantastic because you have the energy of the world that is going to sell a lot of endings a lot of endings a lot of endings a lot of endings is going to be happening and these endings are going to be happening um, because new things are about to um, you know begin for you and we have to let go of the hold so that the new can be coming in 
I'm seeing a lot of people um, being very successful and that sort of a thing. And success is going to come to you. I'm seeing a lot of people who started like a new project or a new work environment in the month of January. In March, you know, you're going to be seeing successful. Um, a lot of promotions are going to be coming in for a lot of you Pisces people. It's like um, the, the energy vibration of for you Pisces people are so changing in the month of March, which is just so wonderful and just so profoundly wonderful. So this is going to be positive. Um, second week, the week of the hair. So you guys are actually having all these signs. So again, for um, the Pisces and the Aries in the third week, the third week is the energy of um the hair energy and for a lot of the air sign people and the water sign people this is just going to be wonderful because the fire sign is going to be coming up and this is going to be grand because a lot of new beginnings are happening because in the second week the energy of the world is coming in with all these new beginnings and i'm seeing new start new relationship new start new journeys people are moving people are deciding to move people are making transition in their life and they're moving forward Forward in a good way and there is no obstacles that is going to be coming up so if you have decided in the middle in the third week of March to make a decision of moving away from something or someone or some situation that is not vibrating on a higher energy vibration you will feel that because obviously um, if you're in a situation that is not fe feeling very good, then you're going to feel this and your energy is going to say, you know, I need to release myself of this thing because this is no longer whatever the lesson is um, to be learned from this. I have learned a lesson and I'm moving on. So a lot of people are going to be um, feeling this sort of an energy. Um, in the fourth week, there is a victory and success. I love using this deck. I always use it for people. Um, that I do readings for it's one of the most fabulous decks because of the colors and that sort of a thing um, a lot of people will be it's it's a, it's a month of new beginnings and changes there's a lot of new beginnings and changes it's as if the first week is just going to open up the month with information coming to you and with whatever information that is coming to you you're going to decide to end the situation and move forward to something that is much better and much different and which is going to be very good into your life so this is this is like positive this is like good this is like success this is like promotion this is like new job promotion Promotions. A lot of people are going to be moving and traveling a lot. If you're looking for a new car, anything, a new endeavor with transportation and that sort of a thing, it's going to be happening for some of you. I'm seeing a lot of people who have been looking for work and haven't been um, finding work. I've seen you trying to find situations like with airline and that sort of a thing, and it's going to be happening. So um, go for it because it's going to be happening for you. Whatever you're trying to um, to change in your life in this month is just going to be happening so go for it it's just going to be fabulous we have the energy of the lover in the last week which we which you know another water sign week so we have um, two water sign week that is here and 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 it is the beginning and the ending of the week I'm loving this because the energy of the lover is just going to be so connected in the end of March um, a lot of people get married. I'm seeing a lot of marriages, a lot of um, proposal um, going to happen the end of March. But not only that, is that a lot of people are going to decide, you know, this, you are my soulmate. You're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. So, you know, let's connect together and let's um, do this, you know, and this is going to be good because um, a lot of soulmates, you know, especially for you Aries, uh, um, you are going to be connecting with a lot of people and these people who you're going to be connecting with is, um, is as if you're connecting with um, the energy of the fire sign people you know or the air people some people is the earth people some people is the fire sign and and some people is the hair and 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 this is what I'm trying to explain to people like sometimes um, you know with the zodiac they they say who are your marital partner but you know I can I, I, I get this I can't I don't think that I'm compatible with a cancer so <laughs> if you are listening to the zodiac and you're seeing these things and you're thinking you know is this true um, I don't feel that you know Capricorns really connect with a Pisces I mean with a, with a um, cancers I think they're more connected with Pisces people than cancer people because um, the cancers are a bit, you know, where they hold on and things while, um, you know, so um, 
third week um, is going to be for the Aries for um, the Aquarians um, the Gemini's and that sort of a thing it's going to be um, a very possible for a lot of um, good things <clears throat> I told you a lot of um, there's going to be a lot of promotions a lot of accomplishment um, that is going to be happening a lot of people are going to be getting this uh, um, popularity um, recognition in um, the month uh, in the first week a lot of recognition some people will have it and, and, and there's going to be a changes that is going to come in, in because of uh, you know recognition popularity um, people are seeing your work people are loving what you're doing and this is going to be absolutely fabulous because um, a lot of promotions is coming up but a lot of people are going to be very um, you know whatever you're doing in um, if you're working for yourself or you're just a creative person especially for the, um, the creative person but you know a lot of people are going to be seen for their work that they're doing and this is going to be very very wonderful because um, it's like something is going to end and then some uh, um, it's like people start seeing you and you're becoming very popular and you're becoming very well known and uh, people are loving you for who you are I'm seeing a lot of love coming um, to you Pisces and a lot of recognition not only for the Pisces but for the tour Pisces but um, for the Taurus Virgo and Capricorn this is going to be happening in the first and second week let's look and see what is there's going to be an extreme victorious success because whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring especially for a lot of people in their work you know as if they use the intellectual um, to um, to open up doors of opportunities but this is in a good way because um, it's as if um, uh, you know like for people who had situations with their um, their you know whoever is their managers or supervisor or that sort of a thing there is just going to be a, a super 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 opening that is going to be happening for you because um, they're going to realize how good you are at something and then um, a, a lot of doors are going to be happening so uh, you know the energy of the hurt especially for you um, earth sign people out there it's just going to be a wonderful wonderful month in the second the second week of March it's just going to be a super wonderful because you're going to be overcoming a lot of obstacles that you have been dealing with because you're going to use the energy of the intellect to just use this and cut this away and move certain things in certain situations out of your life one for once and for all so I am really 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 um, loving this as we move forward and we're looking a lot of people as you know a lot of you fire sign people in the second and third week you're going to be moving forward with ambition a lot of you a lot of stuff is going to be coming up where um, you're you're you know finding the inner um, wisdom and guide and maybe this movement is not going as fast as you are but trust me you're going to be extremely successful for you fire sign people so for you Aries Leo and Sagittarius it's going to be good a lot of you are going to be connecting with the energies of the Kansas and the Gemini's a lot of you will be connecting with energies of the Kansas and the Gemini's um, especially the people who are between the ages of 25 and 45 you're going to be um, connecting with the Kansas and the Gemini and you know it's not bad it's actually very good because um, what is happening is that you're a fire and they're here and you can um, more balance them out sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it does work so um, this is what is going to be happening and the changes that is going to be coming and your guys are going to be moving on because you have the energy of the chariot which is going to come in and help you guys so that is just um, going to be fabulous it's going to be wonderful first half of the month the energy of the magician is going to come in this is going to be a lot of luck for a lot of people because you have the energy of the magician and news that is going to be coming in um, to you I'm trying to get the, the, the light on these cards news that is going to be coming into you it's just going to be wonderful wonderful news um, this news you're going to be using it to um, to cut through certain things and certain things that was blocking you so like for people in 
um, the career feel and that sort of a thing if you felt as if you were being blocked though these blocks are going to be lifted up because people are going to see and know that um, whatever that was blocking you these blocks are going to be lifted because they are going to see that you are um, a very um, professional but you're also good in your career field this is um, for a lot of people um, there is going to be a judgment call if your father is and Leo or an Aries if your father is a Leo or an Aries there's going to be a judgment call um, be aware of this judgment call because what is happening is that um, um, whatever the situation that is happening with you and your your father or mother this is something that needs to um, you know really worked out and the energy of the magician always come in and you know the energy of the magician with the energy of um, a fire sign with the magician and this fire sign is a lot of victories a lot of um, obstacles will be overcome in um, the first week the second week but um, some people especially for the fire sign people because for the Aries this is what I'm seeing for you Aries and you Leos and you Sagittarians it's gonna be a fabulous month because whatever information you Aries um, Leos or Sagittarius are going to receive uh, this information is going to start you on a new beginning it's it's as if it's all about your career it's all about your career and the energy is uh, of um, these um, deities which is the ascendance masters and all these guides and angels and your fairies and the magical world is actually making a positive move for you and moving you in the right direction so a lot of people are going to um, be awarded a lot of people are going to be um, people are going to realize the work that you're doing and what you have been doing and this is just going to be fabulous Fabulous. Yeah, I know. It's just one of my one of my wonderful worlds. And then we have the energy of the seven of swords. The energy of the seven of swords. You have the ace of swords, and now you have the energy of the seven of swords. But what is good about this energy of the seven of swords is a lot of deception a lot of you a lot of people a lot of the Tauruses Capricorns and and Virgos have been doing dealing with a lot of um, deception from the Aquarians the Gemini and uh, and and, and uh, the Librans a lot of deception has been going on with these people a whole lot of deception and it's like you use the intellectual to cut through this deception whatever that was happening there is a situation that is going to be happening that some people are going to be finding out that their partners have been cheating on them and um you know whatever the situation is i will say to you oh my god i have not my helpers but um what what i will say to you guys is that you know whatever the situation is whatever is transpiring um, sometimes certain things needs to happen so that you can um, be aware of whatever is transpiring okay so this is good uh, I, I think when people find out that other people are you know um, not vibrating on the high energy vibration that's okay that's cool um, look at the lesson that you have learned and understand what it is okay I'm guided to do love reading for you guys to see what's the love. A lot of people are going to be winning, winning battles. A lot of people who are, you know, you're going to be winning, uh, winning battles. A lot of people are going to be felt as if, you know, you are being stabbed in the back by people that you are dealing with. Um, um, whatever the battle is, you're going to win it and walk away, and there's going to be a new beginning. For a lot of people with relationships, um, be aware because um, I don't know. I, th there is uh, some of you is as if uh, there is a third party that is coming up in your relationships, and you know you um, you people have to be on the lookout. New love is going to come in for a lot of you guys because the energy of love is here and a lot uh, new love is going to come in for a lot of you guys okay wonderful new love is going to be coming in for a lot of you guys a lot of you guys this energy of new love is going to be coming in um i'm seeing a situation here a lot of taurus burgers 
uh, and Capricorn people are going to be having you know you're gonna be stabbed in the back I'm gonna tell you this um, some of you are going to realize that you were in a relationships or you had something to do with someone but they weren't really vibrating at it so it's this um, sleeping with the devil some of you are going to find out that you know it's a situation of uh, um, just sleeping with the devil and um, you're gonna just look at it and just say Think about what is the lesson I need to learn um, from this um, is this person um, is you know was this person good enough for me to so whatever it is there's a lot of sadness um, there's another sadness for um, for you know the 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 air sign peoples the Aquarians the Gemini and the Libras there's a lot of sadness there's a lot of sadness is uh, and this sadness has to do with uh, another air sign person because it's as if you guys have been going through your relationship and it's as if you're not contented you know because Aquarians people you know you know yourself out there um, you know you have certain aspects certain things that you want in a relationship and it's not really happening some of you are on the watch out it's as if you think that there's someone a third party in your relationship and you're in the uh, on the watch out a lot of you are going to be ending relationships a lot of you are going to be winning winning you know maybe you do, you're getting divorced or maybe you are going to a divorce or a separation and that sort of a thing and you know you'll be winning um, winning whatever it is so um, the, the, the earth sign people because this is kind of weird for you earth sign people this is kind of weird for you earth sign people because what I'm seeing for you earth sign people is that um, whatever has transpired in your life and I want to say to a lot of people new love is coming in new love is coming in um, some people are going to be receiving a lot of new admirers a lot of new love is coming in you're going to find yourself on the part with new suitors because people are going to is as if you're attracting people to you it's as if you have this magnetism of sexual sexual appeal that is coming in so it's gonna be wonderful it's gonna be a wonderful month love is just so um, here but what I'm seeing for um, the hair people and um, what I'm seeing for the hair people and um, the earth people is a lot of you know stab in the back especially for the earth sign people is you know because when when the Taurus Virgo and Capricorn is in love they are deeply in love they focus their on love and that is why they don't um, have a lot of like extra marital affair you'll find the Kansas and the and the, and the water sign people and the hair sign people have a lot of extra marital affair, but the earth sign people are people who you know respect relationships, and they're the ones who you know seems to be getting stabbed in the back. So not to forget um, your energy in this month. The energy of love is going to be wonderful. Um, as I've said in the beginning of my readings and I want to thanks my angels and guides because I'm always saying it and then I'm getting the card to um, to um, place uh, an edge on it and um, it is just and the three of cups so a lot of connection a lot of connection I'm seeing a lot of connection happening here um, the earth sign people money is going to be coming in for the earth sign people because um, this is um, so positive so a lot of money um, is going to come in for the earth sign people and a lot of celebration is going to happen for a lot of people a lot of celebration whoever is going to be grant the wish of love is, is just going to be brilliant okay this is just going to be that you are connecting with your twin flame and your soulmate okay so this is wonderful all right I am going to look at the other energies in the month and let's see what is coming up from the vortex it's just like one of my favorite decks the vortex is um, one of my favorite decks because um, certain people weren't aware that we have vortex each and every one of us have a vortex this is good because it says 
our options about our children can influence the behaviors and that is so true the more you see things in in a childlike eyes that you do not want to see it otherwise the more of what you see you will see and also the behavior that you electricate in a childlike forms about you then is it about your child this is actually true of all of your relationships but since you think about your child more than you do of most other people your opinion about your child plays a great role in its behavior and that is so true that is just so um, true about it because I realize my child uh, and and you know like other people kids that I have to deal with and that sort of a thing um, I'm always showing them love and it doesn't really matter if it's my child or somebody else's child I'm always showing it love and um, I remember I <laughs> I had a friend and um, we um, we went out and oh we were and yeah I used to live in Rotterdam so um, we were on the metro and we saw this you know co colleague of us and, and she has this baby in the bay and I was like oh it's so cute and when the lady left uh, my girlfriend said you're Arab and I said why am I Arab and she says the baby wants a cute and I said yes but the baby can't do anything about it and this is it in some maze that I mean, I am like that. I don't care. It's a baby. It's a cute thing, you know? And she was like, oh my God, the baby wasn't cute. I was like, it's okay. But, you know, the lady think her baby was cute. and The baby can't help it. So, you know, we're like this. And this is why I said it doesn't really matter. I mean, if I have a cucumber, it's cute. You know, you can dress it up and, you know, it's just cute. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's the type of person who I am live wire it's got, and, and this is what I said to you guys it's gonna be really a month of live wire and this is why I love using these cards because they always come up like with these magnificent when the energy of live wire comes up it is like um, you're receiving and the universe is like sending you um, just wonderful positive energy with you is a powerful electricity that can change the world both your world and the world around you scientists call this the electricity of emotion and and as i said in the beginning it is a, mo a month of emotion a lot of emotion is going to be going you can use your emotion to suffer or you can use it to skyrocket to fame and this is good good to know that it's up to you so this is it you know this is what we're always saying and I'm always mm -hmm. saying to people you know it is very important that whatever emotion that you show to other people because um, a lot of people can read um, your um, your energy by just because of your emotion so you know this always happened this it, it's just a sense and this is what is going to happen in this month so I want to say to each and every person please remember um, to come back and listen to this reading because sometimes there is a message in this reading I am sure I touched on all the signs um, and um, there are message in this reading that is going to come up okay I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments about this deck but I thought it was I'm always using the other zodiac um, energy so let's see what zodiac energies are going to be coming in in the month of March um, what is going to be happening and we have water so it is the month of water this is the month of emotion and this is why I start doing my card um, picking my cards um, because of the accuracy of how I read um, it is the month of emotion it is the month of water so here we are a lot of people are going to be dealing with a lot of emotions and whatever the emotion is you need to let it go and you need to accept where it is taking you where it is going water is always about emotion it and a lot of messages is coming in that whenever you're drinking water always ask to bless water and bless um, the water when you're drinking it because it will cleanse your body because it's the only 
cleansing remedy that we have on this planet and it's clean water that's why it's always very important um, to have clean water and you know I'm one of these freaks I hate people just leave the pipe running and the water is wasting because I'm always thinking about that little child in Africa that has got our wherever in the world that hasn't got any water to drink and it is good sometimes to cry people it is good sometimes to cry and heal the soul when you cry you actually heal your soul okay sometimes it is sometimes it's just good to cry because sometimes we don't want to cry because we think that crying is a weakness crying is not a weakness we need to get it out we need to release ourselves we need to try and understand because by crying you're healing your emotion and you're releasing yourself of toxic waste and toxic things and toxic people so I want to say to you I'm wishing you a wonderful month remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign and please share these videos namaste until next time